over here, a long time no see. We got back from Germany yesterday morning, so just over 24 hours ago, roughly. Um, we had a fabulous time, really fell in love with Germany, both the country and the people. Maybe not so much the cities, but definitely the countryside we really loved. Um, so I'm going to be doing a haul video probably later on today, hopefully, get that film for you. But I want to give you a little bit of an update on how my packing went since I'd done that packing series before we went away. Uh, it went really, really well. There really isn't much I would change. The suitcase worked out great. You may remember it, fold, it opens flat like that. And um, one section I had packed in all our clothes into cubes. And the other section I had, you know, shoes and toiletry bags. But everything sort of in bags and in sections. Uh, so at the hotel, the hostels, there wasn't a lot of room. A few places I could leave the bag like open like that and um, just access what I wanted. And a few few room was a bit short. So what I did was I just would um, take my cubes out of the this side, all the clothes that were in the cubes, I'd take them out and um, put them into a cupboard or just put them onto another surface, if we had another surface. And then I just prop the bag up like I that. I ever unpacked totally um, in Berlin. No, I did in Berlin, because we had four or five nights in Berlin. So I did unpack totally then, just leaving in things that I really didn't need in the bag. But otherwise, I was sort of working out of the bag, and the bag worked great because I was a bit concerned how it's going to be knowing I need to leave it flat. But as it turns out, with the cubes, because of the cubes, it wouldn't have worked without the cubes because it would have to unpack every all the clothes all the time. So because of the cubes, it meant it was really easy to do that. So that the suitcase worked really well. We expanded it at about the two week mark, um, so that was pretty good. And um, we well, she had to buy another another bag. Um, which I will show you um, when I do my haul video to carry um, some extra purchases in. But we really did pretty good to get by for at least two weeks before I expanded the suitcase. Uh, did cheat a little bit. I had two things posted home from the shops that we bought them in. So I bought quite a bit of Christmas stuff in one shop and some cuckoo clocks. So they were all shipped home. Look couldn't have carried them home. If they hadn't had the shipping, I just wouldn't have to buy in those shops. With the clothing, I believe I wore everything I took except for one item, which was the singlet thermal top. Now the weather was on the whole a lot warmer than what we expected. We had a lot of days with like 18 degrees, so we're in sort of t-shirts because I was sort of moving around and lots of walking. So I ended up having to buy a few t-shirts over there because I'd only taken one. And that was put in at the very last minute, so thankfully I had that one. And I ended up buying a few about the middle the midweek range if I so I wish I'd had an extra t-shirt I wish I'd taken my crocs um, because of the warm weather but having said that uh, a lot of places have got cobblestones and uneven surfaces so I don't really know that I would have been able to wear them out and about walking but I could have worn them at night around the hostels my feet were really um, quite sore a lot of the time and I had a um, bit of trouble with working out what shoes to wear but uh, you know by the end of the time I sort of worked out what shoes to wear for what occasion and, and it worked out. Uh, the boots I wore only three times, probably could have done without them but again that's because the weather was so warm and even the day we went up to the snow I didn't actually walk on the snow, well, I think I did briefly but I didn't have to and it wasn't snowing so I really, in theory I didn't need my I only boots. wore the school jacket two or three times and if it hadn't been a school jacket for the trip, I wouldn't have actually taken that jacket. I would have taken like a, a wind cheater or something that I could have worn over my fleecy jacket. And that would have eliminated a lot of room in the suitcase. But obviously we had to take it because of the excursion. But I did wear it, so that's the main thing. I uh, wore both my scarves only a few times. <clears throat> I had a lighter one and a heavier one, you might remember. Again, the weather just wasn't cold. Even when we went up the snow, we just went up there all rugged up. We had thermals on, we had... Jackets on, everything on, and we got to the top of it. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. The sun came out and we stripped everything off. And I was basically wearing um, a thermal, long sleeve thermal, and a long sleeve top over the top. And I was quite comfortable. I had my thermal leggings on, could have done without them. Um, but again, we just sort of really, really lucked out with the weather. And we only, we didn't really have any rain. The very last afternoon, we're walking back to the hotel, ready to um, head home, and we got a sprinkle. Didn't really that use a swimming costume because <laughs> when we went to uh, the Black Forest, there was an opportunity to use um, like a spa sauna room in the hotel that we, the hotel we set for two nights, and also to perhaps have paid and gone to one of the nice big spa areas that they have there. But 
We didn't know whether we'd have the chance or the opportunity for that, so we didn't take anything. The gloves, again, because of whether I didn't really use them. I wore my um, lighter pair, the, so the fingerless ones, a bit more than the other pair. But I did, we had one absolutely freezing cold day. It was eight degrees, or six to eight degrees, and we we're outside at the theme park, mm -hmm. and it was freezing. And so I had the long, the thicker gloves on then, and yeah, I could have used an extra layer that day, but it was only one day, so yeah. So I will move on to toiletries now. I think of anything else that pops into my head, I'll um, let you know. So this is what's left of my toiletry bag. It was a bit fuller when we left, and actually that even wasn't in it. So it was a bit fuller when we left. And toiletries worked out really great. These were the new tubes that I talked about. I don't think I had them when I did the video. I'd ordered them and they hadn't come in yet. These were fabulous. Um, this is the medium size. Um, they're called Goo Tubes. And if you want to know where I ordered them from, let me know and I can um, post a link. They were from Melbourne, I believe. Uh, so I bought small, medium and large. And as you see, I used the medium ones. So I'm sure we'll find uses for the other ones. And um, I'm sure they're using my makeup bag. I don't think so. And I'm going to order some more of this size because this is the perfect size. As you can see, this is what I've got left in my conditioner. Just a smidge. The shampoo, a smidge. And that was my facial cleanser. So they were really the perfect size for the um, three weeks. You could probably get four weeks out of them because sort of twins the last week. I thought, oh, I've got hips left. So I started being a little bit more generous in what I was using. Now these do have a suction cup on them. And the f I was putting them on the walls and thinking, that's great. I could just open them up and and get them but they end up falling off during the middle of the night so they're probably only just for use in your shower I would suggest for those the other thing about these tubes I might even do a review on these I think yeah I might leave it to it I'll mention it now you've actually got a slot here and if you can see it's got conditioner so you can actually there's a whole lot of pre-printed ones in there and you just swivel the um, the ring around to what you want so I'm not sure if you can see these though so this one says champ for shampoo, if you can make that out, and then this one I just left blank, that was my cleanser. So I can't remember what else is in there without moving them, but there's a few things there. And you can always just stick a little label too if you'd wanted to. So uh, I left my you know, my facial wipes this summer because I took them on the plane to remove my makeup from the day in the plane. Just got a few of these eye makeup wipes. I was going to just chuck them, but they didn't take out much room. And I thought, well, that's just perfect for a weekend away or a few days away. Now, what didn't I use in here? Everything else worked really well. Um, things like my little eye, no, sorry, my night facial cream, you can see. Maybe, maybe see, just down. I've got another, probably another week's worth in that. So again, everything was perfect sized. Now, I didn't end up using this body oil spray very much. I did use it a couple of times. But what ended up happening is we stayed in a few nicer um, places early on in the trip and I ended up sort of using it they had a nice brand of um i think it was french skincare stuff so i ended up taking and using up their um body moisturizer so i didn't use a lot of the one i had um but i did use up and you'll see it in my empties video the um body moisturizer that i took but i didn't really need that and the same with the um um so an orange flavored one and i had an orange flavored body cream which i used up body moisturizer and I had a shower gel which I've almost used up really love the shower gel I'm going to rebuy it but because I'd also picked up one um well I used I bought one the, the sample one from one of the hotels uh, but I used up one of those as well so therefore I didn't use my almond oil so um my shower gel sorry so that was just because we had access to it in the hostels they didn't have nice, they obviously just had, I didn't use it, but they always had just a generic, generic cheaper brand of body wash. So obviously, and that, one thing I loved over there, they have a big, big bottle mounted on the wall and you just squeeze out what you want. And same for the hand set, which I thought was brilliant because you're not, people aren't taking and wasting little things. So you're obviously not wasting product, but you're also not packaging too. So I thought that was really brilliant. I wish they did that here in Australia. But it's nice when you go to a nicer, uh, sort of smaller B&B &B or something like that. Or a small hotel to get them. So I did use a few of those things. Um, just trying to think, I'm trying to hurry this along. Everything else worked out really good. So uh, a few of the products I used up, you will see in the empties video. Um, I did have my sunscreen. I should have probably used it more than I did because um, I'm a bit quite a bit tan. I'm actually probably about as tan as I get in the summer anyway, because uh, we're outside all the time. And I probably could have used this sort of a bit more hit in this area, but 
tend to didn't do it, but Kevin's got a really big turn line on the back of his neck because he's obviously got short hair. And you can see his camera strap, <laughs> camera strap on the back of his neck, so it looks quite funny. So we did actually have, the only time I did use this was when we went up to the snow, when the sun popped out. And again, we're only out there for half an hour, but I guess in the snow when the sun was out, we could have got some boots. So we did use it that day, um, but obviously didn't go through too much. Um, that's it for that. What else have I got to run through? Well, you'll see my makeup bag now. I've <laughs> had a few additions. Cause I've, the makeup that I bought is actually on this. The makeup worked out perfectly. I didn't use, what didn't I use? Well, I did use it once, this obviously I used it. I didn't use the second lipstick that I'd taken, the, the lipstick that I'd taken in the darker colour. I did use it once just because. But again, that's just because it was a much darker colour. That was basically just because we're travelling with kids, it was just easy. So the one I took was great, and I used my lip balms. I think I used everything else. Um... Oh, and I did take a little gel, a little, um, little gel, a uh, little lip gloss, which I didn't use this at all, I don't believe. Everything else got used. My makeup mirror, I can't remember if I had this when I showed you, the little makeup mirror that I bought for the trip. I didn't use, I think that was a bit silly taking it, because I also have one in, um, I sort of discovered I had one in my um, pressed powder. But I did need it the last place we stayed at for four nights. So it was good to have it because the, most of the lighting, I was actually pleasantly surprised, was great. But the last hotel we stayed at, or the last hostel we stayed at, was really dull. You put the light on, you go, well, you did it go on. You couldn't tell it was so dull in the room. It was a bit overcast those last few days too, so it didn't help. And the bathroom was a long way from the, wasn't getting any natural light in it. And the full length mirror didn't get any natural light. So I ended up sitting um, sort of near our bed. Um, and doing my makeup there so that I had to use this to do my makeup then so I was really glad I had it for that and I was also really glad that I had really easy no fuss makeup because I really couldn't see what I was doing watching that little mirror so that worked out well and I tended to use the BB cream a bit those days so I didn't have to worry quite so much about the foundation blending in but again with my extra colour in my face I took the perfect foundation taking that darker summery one so everything else got used. I did find I've had my makeup brush in here. I think when I did my video, I didn't have it in here and I decided to take it. And I was so glad I did because this stand, it just does work brilliantly. Uh, most of the time I could leave it out. I think only one or two places I couldn't. But I did have to go and buy, well I did go, I choose to go and buy a, another powder brush for my face powder because um, doing the foundation of the powder with the same one ended up the powder ended up getting a bit dark. So I did go and buy that. Um, which you'll also see in the whole video too. I'll mention more about that then. So I should have taken an extra brush, when I, especially when I moved to this, um, taking this case. I was a bit dubious how it's going to work, but actually it was really, really great. It was um, worked out perfectly and will be my new travel bag, that's for sure. Um, I attended both days, I'd have a drink bottle in there. I didn't think a bottle would fit, but it does, because it can obviously push the bag in the other way. So you can fit a drink bottle in there. So that was great. In this other side, I just I can't remember what I said in the video. I'll just go through how it actually worked. I had a little shopping bag, a little red shopping bag, and I just chucked it in at the real last, oh maybe. Well I use this a lot. So I was so glad I had this. Especially when we went to the Black Forest. They don't give you plastic bags, which I think is brilliant. I'm happy with that. But you go and we got Subway for lunch one day and you just get your um, food given to you. No plastic bag for the subway, which again is brilliant, but we were very glad to have the bag just to throw things in. So um, I would have probably ended up buying one if I hadn't taken that one. Oh, excuse my hair, my mouth. <laughs> if I hadn't taken that one with me. So, and um, the bag in the bag, I would just put in any um, brochures and stuff I picked up that day, and my tissue stayed in there because I'm not getting up to a cold. So that was great. In the back section, I had. Uh, what did I have? I think I had some medicines and stuff. I can't quite remember what's in that one. Didn't use the phone, the phone things at all. And in this one, I'd have my wallet and the sun cream I think lived in there. But I didn't particularly get some pens, which I did have to use. Das ist ein Kuli. <laughs> that is a pen in German. My only French, French, my only German phrase that I know from school. And in the main part, I had the video camera. What else do we have in there? Um, any snacks for the day? My sunglasses were in here. Hmm, what do I think? 
and my little camera tripod that I had was in here as well. Yeah, so it's probably a bit deeper than what I needed, but that was fine, no worries. And the front part here, I had the front little pocket here, and that's where I kept my phone, and my camera would just slide in there. And I wore the bag like that, so I just had to really easily unzip, and I could quickly grab my phone and my camera, I just lived in there, and that worked out really great. And then in the very front mesh pocket, I just had some band-aids, and I didn't know what medication was. And then I had a notebook thrown in here, and my glasses cleaner. And oh, that was the I had in the middle pocket. I knew there's something else. I had this little case, and I've added some extra things into it now. But at the time, it just had. I'm going to take out extra things. I'm going to take them to the plane. So I had my nail file, which isn't in here anymore. I had a couple of hair elastics. I ended up buying a shea butter over there because of my cold. I've got a very dry red nose. So I just had my um, lipstick. Oh, I'm trying to escape. My um, lip balm perfume which I obviously never used and my hand cream and I could just grab that particularly for my lip cream and hand cream and just grab them out. I'm actually going to probably try and continue that sort of a system I think in my my normal daily bag. That worked really well. So that was my main part as well. Uh, so that's it. So I think I've raved on for quite long enough. Sorry guys. But I thought it'd be good to do a review and even for good for me <laughs> next time to watch back and just so nearly everything worked but just a few little tweaks maybe to make for next time. So I hope you enjoy. If you've got any other questions about anything to do with my packing and how it worked, please let me know. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover. Um, basically everything went really well. <laughs> so just a few little tweaks maybe for if we did another trip like this, which we won't. So it probably doesn't really matter, but it might help some of you guys if you're doing a, a trip like this. We were very glad we had the smaller suitcase because a few times we had to lug upstairs onto a train and you're trying to hurry and we had to lift up into an overhead compartment. So... I could actually do that when the bag wasn't really on a trip, when the bag wasn't got too full, when it got a bit fuller, I really probably wasn't capable of lifting it over my head. But in a lot of the um, trains, you, there actually was somewhere you could leave your luggage. But especially when we had the group, there wasn't a lot of room, so most of us had our bags up the top. Um, but Kevin or some of the other stronger guys would just lift them up. So it worked out well, but having the smaller bag was brilliant, getting on and off the trains, and I really, much as I would like to have, have had a bigger bag for more stuff, um, I was glad we didn't at the end of the day. So if we ever do a trip where we are traveling my train again, these bags will work out brilliantly. And they were really were the perfect size for that kind of situation. Alrighty, <laughs> I will sign off now. I'm gonna have some lunch and hopefully film another video for you guys later on. Okay, I will talk to you again very soon. And the vlogs for the trip will be starting to, um, I will start working on them this week. So um, you can expect to see them probably towards the end of this week and I'll try and then we're getting one up a day because I've got three weeks to get through and interspersed I will put up my regular videos as well I want you guys wait to the very end to get back into it and it's fun to be back in front of the camera as you'll see with my vlogs as I went along I got more comfortable in front of the camera and sort of turning it around and having it facing me and not worrying but the first few <laughs> the first week or so I was a bit more self-conscious but anyway we'll see how it all comes together and I'm going now bye